Alejandra Gonzalez, New Mexico. Also making the top 15 is New Mexico. So who do you think from back home is most excited for you right now? My brother. I hope you're watching. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Hi, brother. He's watching my two Yorkies, so okay. they all are they're all watching. All right. <laughs> Thank you, New Mexico. Thank you, Mexico. New Mexico. All right. I love how she is working that. Lou, you taught them well. She put it around her neck. She did a spin. She is giving it all. She has been in standout from the beginning, and she just wants to make sure she leaves an impression at Miss USA, and I think she's doing it. Arkansas. Being an athlete, Arkansas was very easily coached. Every note we get. Still in the competition is New Mexico. New Mexico. first-generation Mexican-American. My parents immigrated to the United States for a better life. My mom is a teacher, and I was taught early on that education is a doorway to opportunities. I now have my bachelor's and master's degrees in accounting, and am halfway through my CPA exam. I'm a true product of the American dream. I hope my journey inspires others to never give up. Tonight. Alejandra Gonzalez, New Mexico. I love how fun and flirty this dress is. And New Mexico chose this yellow beaded gown because it represents her state colors. What a great way to pay an homage. New Mexico looks beautiful. All right. Enough with all the suspense. I know you guys are ready for it. So it's time to announce our top five. The results have been tabulated by the accounting firm of EY. Here we go. The first contestant in the final five is... New Mexico! New Mexico. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your Miss USA top five finalists. Wow, that was a ton of stress, Vanessa. Man, I know, man. I know, but the contestants are used to handling this level of pressure, right, ladies? No, 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 the contestants were great. I was actually talking about myself. This is nerve wracking up here. All right, well, get it together, Lachey, because we are going right into the next round, which is the final question. Final question. Okay, let's do it. Each finalist will be asked a question. And here's where it gets very interesting. The questions were actually written by their fellow contestants. Each finalist will have 30 seconds to answer their randomly selected question. And when their time is up, they'll hear this sound. Now get ready because the final question begins right now. All right, New Mexico, please join me center stage. New Mexico, your question comes from Colorado. Hi, Allie. Hi. Congrats, are you ready? Thank you, yes I am. The 2020 election is right around the corner. What is one issue you would like all candidates to address and why? Well, being from a border state and being born and raised in a border city, immigration is something that is very important to me. This is not a black and white issue and that is why we need to have discussions and continue to listen to each other. I think that there's so many people out there wanting the American dream and my parents immigrated here from Monterrey, Mexico. 
<laughs> and I am their representation of their American dream. Thank you, New Mexico. North Carolina. Three women still hoping to make their dreams come true, but there's only room for one. Capturing the last spot in the top three is New Mexico. Congratulations to our top three finalists. They've each proven that they can handle the pressure of the competition, so we're wasting no time in putting them on the spot once again. That's right, it's the final word. We'll hear again from our finalists, but this time, each of them will be asked the exact same question. It's a unique chance for our top three to show the world what truly distinguishes them from their competitors. All right, each of you are gonna have 30 seconds to deliver your final word. When your time is up, you're gonna hear this sound. You'll each be wearing soundproof headphones, making it impossible for you to hear your competitors' answers. It's time for the final word. Headphones on. Here we go. And they are jamming under those headphones. <laughs> Please remove New Mexico's headphones. Please join us. All right, New Mexico, here is your question. Millennials are often labeled as entitled, but they've also been called one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? Impactful. We have the, palm, the world at the palm of our hands right now. And I think that with youth using it so much today, we're able to send out messages to the younger generations. I know just, just this competition, my following has grown so much. And to be able to receive messages of inspiration that I've inspired someone to do something, it might not be necessarily pageantry, but in fulfilling a career. I have my master's in accounting, so that's really hard. Um, so that's just something that's so important of our trait that we have, and I'm so excited to be able to contribute that to society. Thank you so much, New Mexico. All right. Our three finalists just delivered their final word. Any one of them would make a great Miss USA, but there can only be one. Coming up, it's their last chance to leave an unforgettable impression in the final look. This is Miss USA, live on Fox. something to me and I've been in a daze ever since the day that we met you took the breath Give it up again for our top three finalists. One of these outstanding women will take home the title tonight and step into the role of a lifetime. Coming up, we crown an all new Miss USA when we return live on Fox. And then there were two. Ladies, please make your way to center stage. If for any reason, the winner is unable to fulfill her duties. The first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. And now, Miss USA 2019 is... North Carolina.
Congratulations, North Carolina. Take your first walk as the new Miss USA. Thank you to everybody at home watching. We love you guys. Good night, everybody. Good night.